they kept us involved. We had weekly progress meetings here at the site. Um, once the, the frame was up, we'd meet in the, the construction trailer that was out front, and then um, as the building came along, you know, we'd do walkthroughs and check the progress. And you know, once we saw the shell going up, we literally changed some of the uh, design of the inside once we saw the framing up. And we said, ah, I don't like this now that we see it. So we changed things up and no issues, no complaints, no, no frowns, no, uh, no dirty looks. Everything was, um, everything was well accepted. We actually allowed Phil to have uh, design freedom on our front lobby. And our front lobby is somewhat unique um, in that it's, we've got a lot of semicircles in it with our conference room all glass window and, and the front lobby area. And that was really Phil's design. And we appreciate the fact that he put the thought into that and he's very proud of it and we're very proud of it also. It's a, it's a Butler prefab building, which, you know, in essence is a, is a steel shell. But Phil brought in some uh, design characteristics to make it very appealing from the curb. And I think people driving by, we constantly get compliments on the building and how nice it is and how nice it looks and, you know, even how green our grass is. But uh, it's visually, it's a, it's a very appealing building for what it is um, from the street and the inside. You know, I, I have nothing negative to say about Claris or, or Phil or his team. Everything was, was a positive experience from start to finish. You know, even after the fact, I, I, I don't expect, you know, someone to come back and, uh, and willingly, you know, replace tile five years later. Um, or if, you know, we had some leaks, we just had, we had some of our ice dams uh, fall off the roof of this. We had a very harsh winter. And uh, Eric came out, took a look, assessed it, uh, took the time to contact the company, and he's right now working on, um, on getting those replaced for free for us. Haven't heard uh, whether or not they're going to do it, but he's working on it, which is, you know, I think a testimonial to, um, to, to Claris and the type of employees they have. It's a very good experience start to finish. And, and even now, I mean, just recently, um, we had some issues with uh, cracked tile. And no question, no issue about Claris coming back and fixing them. And uh, matter of fact, probably two months ago, and it's been how long? We've been in here five years. So they came back with no questions asked and replaced the granite tiles in our, in our entryway. So I don't think a lot of builders would do that. My home builder, I had issues afterwards. One year, that's it. Doesn't want to hear about it unless you want to write out a check to them. We incorporated geothermal heating and cooling into our office area. Um, and, you know, unlike my builder at home, because I did the same thing at home, Phil fully embraced that. As a matter of fact, he was excited about it. He was thrilled that we were doing that. And uh, we also decided to do radiant heat in our warehouse, um, more than willing um, to accommodate, accommodate us with those requests. And they did have some impact to the, uh, to the schedule and uh, obviously the budget. And they managed to keep it on schedule with the bank and the closing and, and financing and not costing us more money and interest and, and all that stuff. So, you know, once again, um, very easy to work with and very willing to be flexible and, uh, and um, crack the whip on their subs to move things along a little quicker if, if uh, for some reason they fell behind. Everything was a, a blank slate with them, and we talked about everything and, and the pros and the cons um, about uh, every aspect of putting the building together. And we had a lot of changes, and they were very accommodating with the changes along the way.